Don in London, hello, just checking the date. July 11th, my video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour or both. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour equally addictive around people, places and things. Trying to be in the right place with the right people doing the right things. And these days, I do feel I'm probably in the right place with the right people doing the right things, soberly. So sober one day at a time for a little while. And extraordinarily grateful that I don't have to drink alcohol to fix my feelings. And what makes it possible to stay sober? Simply the fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I don't speak for AA, never can, never will. It's full of unique, authentic people who share what they will, where they will. It's just the way it is. So I share experience, strength and hope to show how it works, I guess, for me, because I can't speak for anyone else. But it's been working fairly well with a lot of help from many, many people. It's the very m many voices in AA which makes the difference for me. And I go to regular meetings here in London, UK, and I share in a general way about how recovery works but not specifically about anyone else. That wouldn't be the right way forward. Anonymity is sacrosanct to help people find the truth of who they are. And me too. Without the anonymity, I guess, I would have found it very difficult to actually trust to a process which could help me. And that process is the 12 steps of the fellowship which help me live life well rather than live life in fear. And that's very much what it's about in July for me. It's July 7th month, 7th step. All about shortcomings or things I need to work on and the daily things I need to work on in my, in my case start with confidence, courage and faith to keep on going when life gets tough and also have the courage, faith and confidence when life is not very good or it's just extremely good and I get a bit giddy with life Either way, if I'm not in the middle somewhere, I need to be careful of extremes which can lead me into old thinking and old behaviour. So AA for me has provided the opportunity to change my attitude and behaviour on a daily basis. And thank goodness it's just a one day programme or I don't know that I would have been able to cope with it. A bit like life, I can only cope with one thing. That's today, because it's happening now. Anyway, what is AA? I share from this little card here, which has the AA preamble on it, gives an outline of what fellowship is all about. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other, that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So there it is, only requirement, a desire to stop Many people get to AA, haven't stopped yet, and still find it very difficult to stop. But eventually, if we stick around long enough and give ourselves a break, as individuals saying, I can be a learner again, and all I need to do is stop drinking on a daily basis, and go th I suppose, yes, it was very painful in the early days. I did nine, um, I was, it was suggested I go to meetings for 90 days, one a, one a day, if not more. And my reaction to that was do as many as I could per day to stop me going to a pub or a bar or a restaurant or a supermarket or uh, an off-license. I don't know what you call them in the States or in other places around the globe. But we have off-licenses where alcohol is just bought and you go home. In my case, in my final days, to the park. No home to go to. And that's quite tough to remember, actually. My world... Uh, was as big as my head, which was crammed full of and <laughs> crammed full of alcohol. But in terms of what was going on in the outside world, I'd lost touch completely. 
And it's quite devastating to look back and realise that anyone can get in that state. The park bench can be in your own living room as much as in the park. We shut down, close the curtains, don't answer the door, pull out the telephone, switch it off, and don't even use a computer. We sit and drink until oblivion takes us over. And I was reminded yesterday when uh, I was listening to others, the first drink did do the damage because it released feelings I had inside me <coughs> which I didn't feel comfortable with those feelings of happiness or sadness and then learning that if I couldn't work out what happiness ought to be or sadness ought to be if I couldn't work it out at all then drink enough and I'll get oblivion so these days I don't do that and I don't need oblivion even when it's at extremes of sadness because I need to work through my feelings on a daily basis so they don't pile up on me again I had a mountain full of stuff piled up inside me and I'd never really expressed it because it was better to put on a brave face not let people in cover it up any shame or guilt about being inadequate and deal with fear by suppressing it with alcohol so these days I don't do that. So if there's a bit of fear, a bit of sadness, a bit of shame or guilt even about not being perfect, then I can share it. There's nothing wrong with that. We all have fear, putting on a brave face every day to an extent, but it's when it's at an extreme, out there at the extremes for prolonged periods where we're covering up for some reason or other and not expressing it. So we're building mountainfuls of stuff inside us which we're not dealing with. So when life is good, happy or sad, where my feelings fit what is going on now, then it's a good day because I'm living in the moment and my feelings are in the moment. So often I was playing catch up because I didn't know what I should be feeling and now I just feel life as it is. Sounds good but it took a while to get there and the reason for these videos is to share some of the daily reflections which are helpful to me and also the reflections I've had over the years including uh, what happens to me on a daily basis so July all about step 7 out of 12 steps I do one a month same as the daily reflections book but I got this off the internet somewhere it wasn't from AA but that doesn't matter if, if it works why not utilize it so the seventh step is where we make the change in our attitude which permits us with humility as our guide and humility means the ability to keep on learning for me and not try to be right about everything to move out from our, ourselves towards others and toward God and for me I've been agnostic atheist and believer over the years and I still don't understand I could not define God if, even if I tried other than it's probably truth, love and wisdom at the, at the centre of it whatever it is truth, love and wisdom not my opinion but the actual truth of now which I find out by listening to others as well love, the ability to love people and be loved back and not covet them I guess and wisdom is what I get from living and living and hearing other people as well the whole emphasis of step 7 is on humility it is really saying that to us to us that we ought to be willing to try humility in seeking the removal of our shortcomings just as we did when we, we admitted that we were powerless over alcohol and came to believe a power greater than ourselves could resource, restore us to sanity and I would I, it took me a long time to get to I admit I am powerless over alcohol self will was letting me down badly willpower was letting me down because it kept on saying if you just control it you'll be alright and of course that's denial of the obvious I could not stop and when it says came to believe a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity well simply the wisdom is out there in the world but it wasn't in me how to stop drinking so my, the power greater than me that everything where wisdom resides normally in humans and not in my head if that degree of humility could enable us to find the grace by which such a deadly obsession could be banished or in my case uh, on a daily basis simply then there must be hope 
of the same result respecting any other problem we could possibly have. And that's true. So, in essence, my shortcomings are around courage, faith and confidence. I don't have enough courage, faith and confidence sometimes to deal with life on my own. But if I ask for help, then I get a better chance of life working out today. So, step seven, humbly ask him, or God, he, she, or it, as you understand, or simply good conscience. Ask him to remove our shortcomings is about contingent on the day I ask for help then I can improve my courage, faith and confidence because I don't have to do anything on my own I still have to do the effort and the work and build courage, faith and confidence but it's based on a foundation of humility the ability to keep on learning life so I don't have to know it all and if I ever get to a place where people say I need you to know this or why don't you know this, you're stupid or why don't you know this at your age, you ought to well I could cover up put on a brave face, feel the shame and guilt go red, feel hot, unhappy and fear being found out well actually I prefer it well you know what, I've got 55 years old and I still don't know it which is a, an assertion actually that it's okay not to know because if, it, if, that, if it's outside my experience how on earth could I know so just because other people know doesn't mean I ought or should know. I didn't know how to stop drinking. And it took a while for that to happen. So there's plenty out there I don't know. And I'm really glad I don't know because what would be the point if I knew everything? I'd be perfect and that's impossible. Yeah, so for today these are my thoughts. Step 7 is all about developing courage, faith and confidence daily. So I may live well today only for today every day is different the challenges are what they are I can ask for help at any time to make the best of what is and not what I might imagine because my imagination can say it ought to be this way it should be that way I should know this I should have a car I should have a bigger house well, I haven't got a house even I should have this I should have that there's no shoulds and if my expectations are too high for my own personal conduct then I can also have too high expectations for other people because we're all still learning unless we have fallen into patterns we cannot break and drink was my absolute number one to break so contingent on the day I ask it may, it may work ask for help from others so I may find the truth be loved and loved back and keep on learning wisdom and a lovely meeting last night and it was all about life being best experienced real without fixing our feelings happy or sad good or bad when our feelings fit our experience of now sobriety works life on life's terms happens truth love and wisdom prevail so I only learn the truth from being in the company of others because on my own I only have an opinion and belief so I prefer to share what's going on in my life and then I can get some help if somebody sees an obvious thing that doesn't sound right or feel right for them it may be true that I've deluded myself because denial runs deep in people and I am no exception from other years right sized and right to live and a right to live in utter defeat we face the abomination of self defeat and self loathing well I did anyway Twelve steps and a higher power, a day at a time, we make good our living in recovery. And those twelve steps are not, uh, they're not, they're not something you know and recite, they're something you live. They become part of life, the fabric of living. From one to twelve, they all have a place in each day. So as long as I'm aware of what they are and how they impact on my life and other people's because of it, then I have a, a good chance of living to the best it can be today it doesn't mean it's going to be great or awful it just means it can be what it is life is what it is yeah taking steps to live well and not to judge our fellows family and community today we are able to love be loved and useful and just for today a life plan judge not as we may have been judged as the days months and years go by we meet old friends on their way to rock bottom 
As they shunned and judges judged us in our ruin, we need not judge them or anyone. We simply offer a helping hand in fellowship and love today. And that's true for me because I live, I've lived where I am in this area. Well, partly lived, apart from being homeless for quite a while. But I've been around in this area for 20, 30 years, on and off. And I know a lot of people, and a lot of people make it into fellowship and other places where they can get sober, and then we meet them again. And seeing people in recovery, or just on the way into, and not judging them, means that they feel comfortable, as best they can, that they would need to do something to resolve the issue of drink, or drugs, or behaviour. Because it's all around all of those things that it goes to extremes and unhelpfulness. And the daily reflections <coughs> for today, a turning point, July 11th. A great turning point in our lives came when we sought, for hu sought humility as something we really wanted, rather than as something we must have. Some, humility is something I need. I need to have humility to keep on learning, to deal with shortcomings and defects of character, as they're called in the program. And uh, even though some of us don't like the word defect, the defect for me is too much fear, too much brave facing, an ego with too much shame and guilt behind it, where I cover up. Well, they are defects, they're the vices, covering up the vices which were at extremes, rather than the virtues being in balance with a bit of fear, brave facing an ego. We need, need it all somehow to make it all work. We can't be half a set of feelings, nor can we eradicate feelings and emotions. We can deal with them on a daily basis and if we're not backing up on them or letting them grow into mountains where they've been suppressed then we keep ourselves moving along in the moment where feelings fit what's going on. Either the AA way of life becomes one of joy or I return to the darkness and despair of alcoholism and it may not be a drink but it could be the behaviour that went with it. Joy comes to me when my attitude concerning God and humility turns to one of desire rather than a burden. So, whatever God may be in your life, it's what it is for you. And good conscience, or simply work, living to the good of life. Truth, love and wisdom. So that doesn't burden me these days. It takes me a while to find out what the truth is. How to love some people, because it can be quite prickly and horrible. And wisdom is learning how, not judging. Because I judge myself so harshly, then I could judge the world equally, couldn't I? I prefer not to do that these days. So each and every one of us is on our journey. The darkness in my life changes to radiant light when I arrive at the realisation that being truthful and honest in dealing with my inventory, that is, my life story and what it showed me, and the good and bad qualities I had, results in my life being fulfilled, being filled with serenity, freedom and joy. Well, I, I found that, you know, we get... A, a bit of both, don't we? 50-50 against everything that can be possible. Sometimes the more we work to the positive of living, if we have the right conditions around us, it works. And sometimes we can still have serenity around things which don't work and which feel horrible. We just accept. It's not accepting and withering away. It's accepting and being stoic and having the courage, faith and confidence to keep on going. But it's not denying anything. That's the main point. Trust in my higher power deepens and the flush of gratitude spreads through my being. I am convinced that being humble, and that is keeping on learning, and not putting myself above, other, above others or below them, is being truthful and honest in dealing with myself and God. It is then that humility is something I really want rather than being something I must have. Well, I think it's really need, because a want is uh, an ache. A need is basics, back to basics. So humility is something I need. Needs met, wants forgotten. I know it's a bit, I suppose, pedantic in the, li in the language, but wants will kill me. I suspect, because I will be completely frustrated with too much expectations of delivery, when in fact just by being careful, following 
open, honest, willing ways to keep on learning with humility so that I don't feel ashamed when I don't know and just say, well, you know, I got to 55 and I still don't know and it's okay and I'm not a mind reader and I haven't read every book on the planet so how, how on earth would I know? You know, there's big parts of life which other people get and I'm still learning it, learning it. It's all to the good of living. And, you know, the last few days I've been to quite a few meetings. I've heard a lot about people being bullied and put down because of the way life is, the economy and everything. And a lot of people are getting away with being treated badly by people who are treating them badly under the auspices of human resourcing or resources we're human and when we consider ourselves just another economic resource we are probably <coughs> valuing ourselves by the wrong criteria if I can find the truth of now love people, be loved back keep on learning wisdom and don't fasten myself or value myself by the career or the job I used to do or the person I feel I am today other than another human being living a life I'm okay and if I don't fasten myself to finance property things then I won't be feeling un unhappy about where I am needs met once forgotten the basic need, human needs to love, be loved and useful how much money we have in the bank even if we can't access it in my case and it's not very much that's not the issue it's about how we live well today so that's me for uh, July 11th step 7 shortcomings not enough of something but improving on the day I ask for help my courage, faith and confidence to keep going the serenity prayer at any time of day or night which helps me come to terms with what is possible and what is not possible and keep on, keeping on learning about that helps me all the time and it's to God or good conscience as a prayer, meditation or just an exhortation to the universe it seems to have value because it helps me sort out the possible and the impossible so it goes like this God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference for me always in the day and best said in the moment of now when things are at extremes or just ok to remind me that it's okay to be me, just a learner like everybody else hopefully.